Hey everybody, Farm LLC here. So this week I'm doing my little video blog vlog a little early because next week my schedule is kind of messed up in a good way for work, the day job. But this week, what is this? Week 11, week 12, week bleh, I have no idea at this, this point anymore. But this week, here is what I learned about whatnot. Number one, I tried an unboxing show this week. I got a big lot, I think from an estate sale of pins. And so when I opened the box, I discovered they were all in a Target bag. So I thought, okay, I can unbox it by myself or I can do it live. So I did it live on whatnot. I actually sold a couple of pieces, but I didn't really like it because some of the pieces, I'm not gonna lie, were dirty. When I get an order, especially of vintage brooches, the first thing I like to do is do an inventory, take them out of the box, lay them out. And then the second thing I like to do is clean them up and assess for any kind of damage or potential damage. When you go live and you unbox, you literally have no idea what you're gonna pull out. I mean, you have a general sense of what you, you know, bid on if you did an online auction, but the quality on a photo with a big lot, because I tend to buy jewelry in lots, is not what it is in real life. So I think the advice that I have here is maybe don't do an unboxing lot because <laughs> It can be a surprise and some of the brooches honestly really needed a scrub dub dubbin and once I did it they were beautiful. So I don't I don't like to show the dirty icky. That's the first lesson I learned. The second lesson that I learned is from last week's lesson that you don't want to overload your shows. So this morning on Saturday morning in preparation for my Saturday night show that I do once a week and I try to plan those ahead and my stores are full, is I did kind of a subcategory within the category or the show tonight. So the show tonight, Saturday night, June 10th at 7.01 p.m. Eastern time is focused on pretty storage and trinket boxes, okay? Well, what do you store in trinket boxes? You store jewelry, right? So this morning, I just kind of did a subset show of the jewelry that I'll be featuring in tonight's show for Trinket Box. I felt like I had too many pieces in the show anyway, so I just decided that I was going to focus just on the jewelry this morning's show. And I sold a couple of pieces, which is awesome. I also screwed up because... When you don't load your shows and you pick the wrong items, sometimes you undersell yourself. And that happened to me this morning. Shame on me. But I honored the price because I was the one that flubbed up, not the buyer. Let's just say I like to be prepared. I like to prepare in advance. And <laughs> yeah, uh, moving forward, I don't know how many of these surprise shows I might do. I need to be a little more thoughtful, I think, around them. And last but not least this week, I wrote an article online about my passion, my new discovered passion for vintage jewelry, and in particular, Miriam Haskell. There is a piece that I actually did end up purchasing, and this is a Miriam Haskell. And if you can see it under here, it says Providentiae Memor. That's Latin. Here's Miriam's marking. So you can see that is in fact a Miriam Haskell brooch. I love this brooch and I'll be honest in my article and I'll be sure to post the link below in Medium. I always thought her stuff was kind of too bougie <laughs> in a good way. I mean, it was beautiful, it's intricate, it's well made and crafted, but I always thought it's a little too fussy for me until I saw this, this brooch. And so I wrote about the brooch and the meaning of it in Latin and the translation. And I learned as well that Miriam Haskell was born in Indiana, like me. So I think I might have shared that last week, but if I didn't, there you have it. Tonight, what not, Farm LLC, 7.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Yours truly will be selling trinket boxes and pretty storage for your gems, jewelry. If you like Miriam Haskell for her stuff, if you don't, any of your other vintage jewelry or modern or contemporary jewelry. That's what I've learned this week. The ongoing saga with whatnot. <laughs> My store has a ton of shows in it. I've decided that I'm going to plan ahead and try to do a weekly show. 
I've loaded more shows in over holiday weekends as well because again, I like to prepare and it takes a lot of work to prepare a show and do it right. So hop on over to Whatnot. You can click on my profile, Farm LLC, and see all the shows that are coming up. Bookmark them and I'll see you there. Until next time, take care.